Next question is, a particle is thrown in a horizontal direction with a speed u from a point p at the top of the tower as shown in the figure. This is the figure. This is the tower, the point p and it is thrown horizontally with a speed u. We can write that this is speed u. At a vertical height h above the inclined plane of inclination theta, find the speed with which the particle is thrown so as it strikes the plane normally and find the distance from the feet of the tower where it will strike. So in this case, the tower is given whose height is h. This is the height of the tower h. So let us suppose this is A and this is B. So B is the point where the this horizontal particle when projected with the horizontal velocity V is going to start strike perpendicularly. So in this case, so first of all, let us make the coordinate of that. So we can say that this will be y coordinate and this will be x. Similarly, at p point y and this will be x. So we can clearly see this angle will be theta. So we can divide u into Two parts one will be u cos theta and another will be u sin theta u cos theta and in the downward direction it will be u sin theta and let us also find out about the g so g normally acts in the downward direction so in the coordinate system this will be angle theta so we get g cos of theta and g sin of theta so in the question itself it is given that it is going to strike perpendicularly so we can say that the x component of velocity will be equal to 0. So we can use this condition and let us do it, it in the x direction. We are going to use formula V is equal to u plus a t. So in the direction, x direction we simply put x. So v of x is 0. So we write 0 is equal to u x. We already know u x is given as u cos theta. a of x is minus g sin of theta. multiply by t. So from here we can find out t which will be equal to u cos of theta divided by g sin of theta. Next we are going to use in y direction. We are going to use formula S is equal to ut 
plus half it is square and you get y direction okay so first of all we are going to find out y s of y in y direction we are going to draw a perpendicular to this point so this is 90 degree so this is theta so this angle will be 90 minus theta and this angle will be theta so you can say that this will be given as h cos of theta and this will be coming as h sin of theta so s of y will be equal to minus h cos theta so y is equal to minus h cos of theta u of y is minus u sin of theta multiply by t minus half a of y is given as g cos theta multiply by t square now we substitute the value of t we get this as you can simply cancel out the minus this will be now plus so we substitute the value of t u sin theta multiply by t t is given as u cos theta divided by g sin theta plus half g cos theta and this will be equal to u cos theta divided by g sin theta square so we can write it as h cos theta is equal to sin theta cancel out sin theta so we are left with u square cos of theta and plus half g cos theta u square cos square theta divided by g square sin square theta square goes with this g and we can cancel cos theta cos theta as well as this cos theta so we will be left with h is equal to we will be left with h is equal to u square g plus half this will be u square by g this will be cos square theta divided by sin square theta we can write this as cot square theta so we are going to take u square by g as common so we will be get 1 by 1.2 cot square theta Taking 2 as LCM, we get u square divided by g 2 plus 1, sorry, 2 plus cos square theta divided by 2. And from here, 
we can find out u square so u square will be equal to 2gh divided by 2 plus cos square theta or we can say that u will be equal to square root 2gh divided by 2 plus cos square theta so this is the first part found out the speed with which the projectile will be launched horizontally so that it is perpendicular to the at point B so in the next part we are going to find out what will be the distance at which it is going to fall so we can say that in this part we are going to find out what will be this distance let us call this as r and this small part let us call this as x so we can write it here also that r will be equal to h sin theta plus x this will be the range so we are going to find out what will be the value of x so in next direction we have x of x is equal to u x of t plus half e of x t square so if you denote s of, s of x by r so r will be equal to sorry denoted by x is equal to u x cos of theta sorry u cos of theta multiplied by t minus one half g sin theta t square now substituting value of t we get u cos theta t is u cos theta divided by g sin theta minus one by two g sin theta and u cos theta divided by g sin theta whole square this will be equal to u square cos square theta divided by g sin theta minus half g sin theta multiplied by u square cos square theta g square sin square theta so g can say square t square equals to sin t sin theta so we are left with u square cos square theta g sin theta minus half u square cos square theta divided by g sin theta This will be equal to u square cos square theta divided by g sin theta that is x so the total range will be equal to h sin theta plus x that will equal to h sin theta plus u square cos square theta divided by g sin theta so we already know the value of u so we write this as h sin theta plus cos square theta g sin theta 
and u square is given as 2gh divided by 2 plus cos by theta oh sorry there should be 2 here 2 2 and 2 2g cancel out by 2g so we are left with h sin theta plus h cos square theta divided by sin theta 2 plus cos square theta taking h as common so we get h this will be equal to sin square theta 2 plus cos square theta plus cos square theta all divided by sin theta 2 plus cos square theta now we know that cos square is nothing but cos square theta divided by sin square theta so if you open the bracket we multiply it sin square cancel the sin square we are going to get this as h 2 sin square theta plus cos square theta plus cos square theta divided by sin theta and 2 plus cos square theta so cos square plus cos square will be 2 cos square and taking 2 as common we will be left inside as sin square theta plus cos square theta and that will be equal to 1 so finally we are going to get a range as 2h divided by sin theta 2 plus cos square theta this is the final range thank you